What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you the, the Asthma Circle. But, this one's not necessarily a circle. This is where it sits. I'm gonna take it outside. Gonna hope that it's not too windy out here, and I'm gonna hope I can find a spot to put this. All right, now I'm no expert. Um, from what I know, you know, about the azimuth circle, it can also be called a bearing circle, but this one is an azimuth circle because it's set up with, uh, all right, so a bearing circle, would basically be just the hairpin here. Who is screaming? Oh, we're taking on water, I forgot. But uh, a bearing circle is basically used just to find bearings of contacts and other ships. So you would have this piece here with the hairpin, horse hair, whatever's in there. And then this guy here, basically just like a, an eye sight. So, you would line up the hairpin on, let's say, that ship there. I'm not gonna be able to focus, but you would line it up, right? And where you are pointing on the ship, on the lubber's line, is gonna be whatever direction you're going. You're gonna point the hair at the ship or the contact or whatever it is that you want to find and basically then you look at okay so we're pointing the lubbers line here is at like 160 um they would be at you could see a little mirror in there that points straight down and they would be at like 130 <clears throat> so you can tell how many points they are from you. What's up, Crow? Uh, point is like 11.25 or 11.5 degrees. And that gives you how many points it'd be off the ship. So 130 from a 60, it'd be like three points. It'd be three points off the port bow. Um, and then basically, so if you kept it Again, you've already set the hairline on them, on the vessel or whatever it is. Now you can get the bearing drift just by walking away from a little, for it, from it, from a little bit. And then when you come back, say, you know, it's it's still lined up with one three zero, but now the ship is to the right or to the left of the line that you've set up on. Now it either has a right bearing drift or a left bearing drift. So you're basically gonna tell if you're gonna be coming into contact with the other guy or with the other contact or whatever it is. Um, I actually never use these, ever. Like, I was taught how to do, how to find contacts with it, um, but for the purpose of me as a watchstander, as an AB watchstander, I can just tell, you know, I, I could guess how many points it's off, whether kind of, you know, oh, it's either going to be a container ship or a fishing boat. Typically, bigger vessels, um, you might not even have to report. Some, some mates might want you to report everything. But on here, I've only had to report, like, little fishing boats, what basically the radar won't pick up. Um, so, basically, I'll report, a little, I'll report a contact or a little vessel or a buoy or something and I can usually go over to the radar and uh, the Ectus and everything and just see which way they're pointing and which way they're going. I usually don't use this to find their bearing drift. Or you can usually tell most of the time which way they're drifting, whether they're drifting towards you or to the left of you. The only time this is useful for finding the bearing drift is when you like can't tell because say you're both kind of facing the same direction 
but if he has a slight angle left, you guys got a, you have a slight angle right, then it might look like he's coming towards you, but really he's not. Um, so bearing circle, basically you're able to find contacts relative to your position. An azimuth circle, which is what this is, has these extra little doodobs and knobs uh, and mirror pieces that you can find I believe it's your relative bearing according to the sun and the celestial like stars and whatnot. Don't quote me on that because I'm not a second mate. I don't do any of that. Um, all I've been taught is the uses of a bearing circle and how to find contacts with that. And it's really that easy. You just set up, you set up the line onto whatever the contact is and then you know you look at where you're heading where they're at on the the gyro um and then you report how many points it is and then you report the the bearing drift of it but like i said rarely do i ever use this um at the same time this can be moved as you just seen this is a repeater rarely do i ever come out here and put it on here um like I said, this is more the second mage job. You might come out here, set this up, and get a bearing from the sun in the mornings on this side. Usually this guy just sits um, actually on the bridge for me to use or whoever to use, I guess. Whoever wants to use it, but mostly I see a second mate using it. I don't see a whole lot of watch standers using it because for what we have to do, it's not you know, necessarily mandatory. So that's what I got for you guys for today. Um, the simple use of a bearing circle, as much as you will have to use it as an AB. I don't know the, the celestial and sun part yet. So thanks for watching. I, I appreciate it. Please subscribe, please like, share, comment. Um, I'll see you in the next one. All right, I'm out.